What's good, everybody? Welcome to the show. First reaction for BMF episode eight finale. And we had Power Book Two, Season Two, Episode One tonight. Um, I know I tried to get on. I'm a little late than I wanted to be, man. I was having problems uploading some pictures and things, and I still didn't get them all uploaded. But I know y'all was waiting and ready. So I came on through and I'm gonna try to get it going while I'm doing this at the same time. Hopefully, uh everything uh keep you know, moving uh, properly while I'm doing this. Let me double check a couple things right here. All right. So um, anyway, BMF episode eight season finale. I'm going to give y'all my first reaction review. Um, I liked that episode. It was better than... I thought it might be. Um, it was some closure. I like that they actually made it realistic as far as a TV show in the sense that uh, the bad guys didn't get away. Now, is that realistic? No. Um, a lot of people are alive in real life from this true life story, which is why they say loosely based. And so... As a TV show, you would want to see some of these people get theirs. Um, and so we did see Lamar and Cato get theirs for what they was doing during our, this season. And so that was cool. I don't think Lamar is dead, though. Um, we didn't see him die. He's already got that crazy man strength. He did get popped in the belly, one in the shoulder. Now, Kato dead. She caught one between the tatas. It's a, it's a wrap. She gone. But Lamar might not have died. They could still try to spin it off and bring him back like the boogeyman. Um, but if he is dead, that's cool. I like it if he was dead. Um, but if he didn't, I could see them trying to bring him back. I don't think they should, but I could possibly see that. Um, and B. Mickey, we already knew that that gun was going to get him in trouble. So that was cool to see some of this happen. Um, and I give it an eight. Now for Power Book 2, Season 2. Whoo! It's a lot to talk about and unpack on that. Um, that was one hell of a day. It's supposed to be the very next day after Jabari Reynolds was killed. You know, Professor Professor Kelly was killed. And a lot went on in that one day. They didn't even notice he, what happened. His body laid there overnight in the park. Nobody went to the park and walked through there. I know it was cold, but damn. Uh, that dude swolled up in the park. He was looking like Harry Spears or whatever up in there overnight, man. They... They swallowed him up. I mean, it was cold outside. I mean, it was only one day. The way he swole up, you'd think he'd been there for his shoot. A oh, while. Wow. But, uh, you know, Power Book 2, I know it's a lot of people that like that show. But I'm going to give it about a six and a half, man. And that's being generous, that episode. Um, so we had to get into it. It's a lot of things I'm going to have to talk about on that. Um, I got my boy Brillo in the building. What's good, man? What's good, Jay? Hey, hey what's <laughs> up, man? Go ahead. What you think about the, these two uh, shows tonight? Oh, uh, man. BMF was fire, man. Man, a, a big meets highlight reel to take us off to let us know that we definitely needed 10 episodes, man. Yeah. All my predictions were wrong. I said Kato wasn't gonna get clapped. She got clapped. I, I, said, she gonna <laughs> I said I said they wasn't gonna show Meach popping nobody. He popped yeah, Lamar. I didn't think that would happen. 
I mean, it was a, it was a, it was a ten out of ten for me for that for for, for a finale. It left us wanting some more, man. You want to know what's gonna go on with Terry, the way it ended. I liked all Meech plays. The acting seemed like it got a little better in this episode. Yeah, it was man. Dope. Meech, Meech did a good job. Little Meech did a good job on this show, especially for his first uh, time really acting and everything. He did a good job. And uh, you, yeah, man, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, more of uh, BMF. Um, so what what would you rate this uh, BMF episode? Oh, I got it. I got to finally give it a 10, man. I was satisfied after the episode, man. Definitely had some funny scenes, had some serious scenes. Kept me on the edge of my seat. And like I said, man, it was a Meech highlight reel, man. <laughs> he uh, really wants this game, Jay. Like, yeah, he, definitely. He really Never. wants it. Trying to get this damn water over here, man. <laughs> All right. So uh, what about uh, this uh, power, man? What would you rate book two, man? Episode one, man, I got to give it a six. It was some stuff that I liked, but it was a, it was more things that I just could not get past. I didn't like. Uh, but it was some stuff that I did like about this. I think it can get better. It, it's going to have to get better. But the yeah. first episode was not it at all. Yeah, I mean, it ain't got no way to go but up, hopefully. Um, one thing I will say about looking at book two is, man, they got some beautiful women on book two. Power ghosts, man. I mean, wow. Diana, as soon as I saw her come out the room, because we watching it with the members in Discord, I'm like, whoa. She didn't grow it, grow it up up in this piece, boy. What? Little mama didn't grow it up up in here. Like, oh, snap, man. She's looking beautiful up in here and putting on the dress. And Monet, I'm like, Monet, shut your ass up. Let this girl wear what she want to wear. Come I don't on, understand. Man. Like, they need to get some Terry Flannery and Big big Meats Flannery in their system. Because what are they? They, they? they just, like. How old are these? She treated them like they elementary. For real. Kids, man. Like they grow. I'm surprised they ain't run away yet. Um run away. It's just called move out. For grow real. Up. Definitely. What are they doing? Yeah, man. Uh before we get into it, let me give a uh, shout out to uh, everybody that was in here ready and waiting uh for the for the show. I appreciate y'all. Um, Louisiana boy, you say Mecca is a beast. Uh, Miss Miss Sharon, you can't say I really like the finale. Okay, you say Tariq done messed up, Josh. Uh, Osborne, you said both of the shows was really fire. That's what's up. One journey, what's good? You say loyalty is not a choice, it's a lifestyle. Uh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, that's uh, one of the quotes from BML, right? Right. Yo, Woods, what's good, man? You say, uh, what's good? That was a great finale. And even for Book Two Ghosts, it wasn't bad for the premiere. All right. Young Slim said both shows was corny. All right. <laughs> Everybody got their differences of opinion. I mean, I could see how people can see that about some certain parts of the shows. Yeah, you sure going to have his cornball moments. but That's right. You know. That's right. What's up, Teresa? How you doing? Uh, you said uh, y'all been uh, keeping my YouTube husband safe. <laughs> Who's your YouTube husband? Me? I hope so. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, I ain't been keeping nobody else safe. What's up, Sylvia? How you doing? Appreciate you. you say what's good. Hope, hope everybody having a cool weekend. It's definitely been a good weekend. Uh, D. Renee say you just finished watching both shows. Wasn't surprised by the BMF. I know that's right. BMF, it, it did have a little bit of surprise and stuff. So I didn't think they would take them both out in the same episode. Um, and I didn't see B. Mickey as the one to do it either for her. The way it went down, you know. Um, but, you know, um, We'll talk about that. You say uh, D. Renee Meach was always a step ahead of finding out the truth. Um, I don't know. I think he waited too late to start investigating her background. 
But when he did, he did figure it out that she was, you know. And he only investigated her background after T said, basically said, what do we really know about this chick? Right. Right. You know, so yeah. John Doe, what's up? What's up, man? Glad you came through. Ronald, you say even Lamar thought Ashy Larry was foul. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, let's see. Uh, Teresa, oh, you lo- I love you too. Thank you. Appreciate it. Definitely appreciate the love. Um, big Ronald Cameron said it was two good shows. A damn good fight possibly ended too soon with Crawford and Porter. A good night. Man, who won the fight? Crawford? I already know Crawford won, man. That's why I ain't buy it, man. I knew Crawford was going to beat that boy like he said. Crawford won? Of course. I don't know yet, but uh, we'll see. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Big Jimmy, you say you went to sleep on Tariq, man. Tariq's story wasn't wasn't exciting enough. The Lamar murder was... Tariq is the smartest man in the world, man. (laughs) Ah, right. He a little Tariq Musk up in here. (laughs) Tariq on Musk up in here. He's just a little genius up in here. Uh, D. Weave, that's another great point, man. They do be geared up on power. They they jackets and everything. Tariq was rocking a nice ass jacket, though. I ain't gonna lie. Um, they be G'd up. They got power. a nice wardrobe, people, for yeah. all shows. Man, he said they <laughs> the gear on power is fly, but the story is whack. Damn. Uh, Barika, Lamar couldn't stop the rain, boy. He got caught in a tsunami tonight, boy. Got his water cut off. So, definitely. All right. Um, got a lot of great comments, man. Let's see, man. All right. Let's get into this, uh, to this show right quick, man, before we, uh, go. What's up, Kelly? How you doing? Appreciate you coming through as well. Um, all right. So, Talking about uh, BMF. So, man, um, a lot happened, man. We see Officer, uh, you know, Coach Cop, Coach Copper, Officer Headquarters came through up in here. And, uh, you know, they had the little Drano. They came through and uh, swept everybody up. They tried to put everybody away. But they ain't catch nobody with no work. So, I mean, it ended up backfiring on them. But, uh you know, they tried, man. Uh, what what you thought, man, when you first saw them coming and sweeping up and uh, arresting Meech and everybody? Did you think they was going to go down or, or what? What did you think might happen with that? I knew they was going to get out quick because of how quick it was in the episode, how early it was in the episode. Unless they was going to do some flashback type thing, I knew it was. I knew they were going to get out quick. Plus, they had contingencies. They had threw off all the work and stashed it. So, yeah, I that, pretty much figured they were going to be getting out. Police was just, you know, trying to throw, trying to irritate them, basically, like they do. Yeah, Meech, man, Meech, they called Meech slipping, boy. He was sitting there with uh with his girl, man, and uh, you know, they they came and got her on the mama house. He said, "Take your ass back inside." She took her ass back inside too, man. But uh, <laughs> she ain't stupid. <laughs> nah, man. But uh, ain't about to yeah. go down there with him. <laughs> for real. But uh yeah, man, they definitely came and swooped him up, man. And uh I was surprised that they even tried to pull that, but they like you like they said, they didn't have nothing on them. So I mean, that was kind of a waste of time, but uh it showed that uh his boss don't trust his ass. And so uh, we'll see what happens with that in the end, because she's still kind of keeping him on the uh, outskirts of the investigation. So uh, we'll see what happened. Uh, but it, it was bad evidence and well, no evidence. And it just made them look stupid. And they all sat there and laughed in the cop's face. You know what I'm saying? When they got out, that was that had to be heartbreaking. Uh, yeah, that, that was that was funny, man. <laughs> yeah. God, definitely was funny on they side. That reminded me of that Harlem night scene. <laughs> Which what? When they when they, when they all got out of jail on the limo or whatever. Oh, way. Yeah, you of course they had limo. Entire ass, sugar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was funny right there. Uh, what's up, man? With uh, Kato and uh, B Mickey, and they tried to set up uh, Lamar 
early on in the uh, episode? Did you think it was going to work out when they tried to set him up? Uh, nah, man. Lamar was going to man. Be Mickey didn't want that problem. Not with Lamar. He's not that handy. Not how they were trying to do it. Just a roll up on him. Yeah, they yeah. were sloppy. Sloppy. You're not gonna kill nobody like Lamar with no, 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 no sloppy hit like that. Not no killer like Lamar. Right. Nah. Okay. And uh, the way they tried to set him up, man. I mean, I think that was B. Mickey Chance at trying to protect her before it yeah. got too far with Meech and them knowing. Um, he didn't know Meech was already starting to get on the trail, but Meech really didn't get into it till he got into the uh jail with uh with his brother and stuff, Terry. Um, because that's when Terry was like, Man, what we really know about her, right? right. That was up. So um I mean, damn. It it might have been a little too little too late if he would have killed Lamar right then and there. Um it might not have been able to say. Plus, he lied to to Meach face, talking about he ended it with her when he really didn't. So, I mean, yeah. I was surprised Meach let all them dis- discretion slide. So he really loved B. Mickey, man. He yeah. let all them discretion hurt even knowing about Lamar. He let that slide. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> he loves that man. Right. That that right there was a little too much right there because. If you if he does that to you and lies to your face for her, then he'll do it again. And he already feeling some kind of way that now you had to you made him kill her. He kind of making it seem like he made him kill her. He should have let B. Mickey kill Lamar and maybe Meech should have killed her. But then he might be blaming Meech for killing her and saying yeah, it was a lose her. lose. He probably like B. Mick, you gotta handle that. Because right. Definitely. Uh, Big Ronald, you said that uh, Terrence dropped him twice in the 10th and Porter's dad stopped it after the second knockdown. Porter wasn't seriously hurt, but Crawford was clearly about to finish him. It was a competitive fight. Okay. That's what's up. It ain't sound competitive. (laughs) (laughs) What you described was not, well, I guess up until that round. (laughs) Dropped his ass twice, boy. Hey, man, uh, on the side note, man, I know they got uh, Canelo is number one pound for pound, but Terrence oh, Crawford. Is that Bud boy. Crawford, man, Bud yeah, Crawford. Yeah. I'm not even a big boxing fan. You know? I know about him. Right, right. <laughs> um, and on the side note, we did see uh, in, in book two, uh, Kane try to do a little boxing his damn self. Yeah. Wow, he that's one of the called. scenes I like. That's one yeah. of the scenes I like. I admit. I said it's it was a couple cool. of things that I like. It was cool for entertainment, but it was dumb. It didn't make sense to do that uh, if it was real. Um, you I ain't going to get yeah, for a show. chance to fight, and he might knock your ass out, which he damn near did. He did catch Kane a couple times, dude. Could have had them hands and finished you. You over here trying to impress dude. You'd have got your ass knocked out, you know. Yeah, but well, it worked out for him in a major for way, fight. though. Yeah, that dude was That was some G life. stuff. Yeah, television I, entertainment wise, yeah. it was cool. But if you think about it, you'd be like, "Man, what never would have happened?" happened. Right? He was, yeah, yeah, this is dumb. <laughs> right? Dude got <laughs> motivation of life and death on his side. Like he ain't about to just get beat up too easy. He gonna fight to the end, literally. So, um, shit, it ain't like it's no prize fight. But uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, but uh, back to BMF, man. So, so Cato and them, they thought they was gonna be able to just get Lamar real simple, and that ain't work. Um, B. Mickey, he got hemmed up. Everybody got hemmed up. What you think about how uh, Meach talked Terry into bringing him in to go and meet up with uh, with uh, Big L? <laughs> B- Meach is the man, man. Meach. Told Terry, like sometimes you gotta ask for what you want, man. Ain't no no connect is gonna no no connect is gonna turn down cash money. No real plug. They don't care what you got. They don't have to like you if you making right. that pay schedule and you trying to double their payload. That's true. Uh, Close mouths don't get fed. This this boy scared to ask the plug. 
Meach, Meach came in there messing with her artwork, getting under her skin. Like <laughs> I don't, I don't work with you uh, indirectly. I didn't touch all those dollars. That was dope. And, I like that. And part. we need more work. Right. <laughs> I love that scene, man. It just right. showed that Meach really wants this game, man. He do, but it almost cost him his life, though. She did up that that uh strap on his ass. Uh, it was just a show of aggression. She wasn't gonna kill him. If she killed him, she kills her money, her and her and his bill in the at the rate his business is expanding. <laughs> she yeah. just wanted to show him like I don't like you, you know, get out of here. Oh, I baby, could I'm kill you if I wanted to. Right. 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 And uh, end up giving him everything he wanted. Right. That's true. That is true. And uh Meach, man, he, he definitely got away with words and talking with people. And, uh, you know, he, he is a, a hell of a charismatic person. He, 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 yeah, he did come through on screen, too. His son did a great job, man. I can see yeah. how. Definitely got the gift of gab, man. Right. Uh, Teresa said, that's the great value, Janet Jackson. Ha <laughs> ha The bootleg <coughs> Janet up in here. Control. She just wanted to show she had control. Up in right. that she won't. She got the hot for tea, too, man. Yeah. Hey, she is beautiful, though, man. She probably, mm. there. Yeah, she, she might be the most beautiful girl on the show. Um, they ain't got my one girl looking like she posed to, though, man, with that little, uh, bow haircut. Meets girl, man. Uh, uh, what's her name? I can't I don't think. Oh no, man! I like it. Empire. Southwest T girl is beautiful as well. Yeah, she cutie, but they they got bad hairdos in the eighties. Other than uh, Big L, Big L hair still look all right for nowadays, but everybody else hair look horrible for compared to how women wear their hair today. <laughs> <laughs> you know, what I mean? they got uh man. What's the girl y'all know in the comments? What's uh what's her name from Empire? I can't believe I can't remember her name right now. It's so late as uh, early right now. But man, uh that's my girl. She go by one name. Uh she ain't got two names. <laughs> Last name. Uh damn, what's her name? But uh boy, woo. That's my girl from Empire, man. Um, but anyway, um, I saw Beach was enjoying when she was sitting on his lap. He was trying to kiss her boy. He tried to slide a little tongue action up in that piece, man. Let's make it look realistic. Ooh, Meech, man. Yeah, Tiana is her name on the show. Um, what's her, her name is Tiana on Empire. What's her name in real life? It's a Taraji. <laughs> Soraya. Yeah, Soraya. That's how I spell Soraya. That's her name. Man, woo! Let her get herself straight, boy. They got her looking messed up with that little mushroom bowl haircut. They got her rocking. But, uh, yeah, she get her regular hair, boy. She, she got that Bruce Lee joint. <laughs> right, right. You know what I'm saying? She definitely got that, man. But uh, Big L, man, I don't know, man. I thought that uh, she she kind of still was a little upset more. That, man, you're uh, irritated. Yeah, that's what it was. But I think eventually she gonna end up dealing with Meach probably more. And uh, you know, Meach he do uh, need yeah. to chill a little bit and act a little more professional, messing with the damn uh stuff. She talking about what it costs two hundred thousand, a hundred thousand or whatever. Quarter million. Yeah, so you know, put that shit down, boy. <laughs> but uh she did have a good point. She like, then you just need an extension. Now you talking about you need to expand. Which one is it? But right. they had that money. They had that money. The yeah. money was right. They needed more work. Well, she gonna touch. She not Pat. She is a plug. She not gonna turn them down. Now. I got all all you need. I'm not Pat. Right. Damn right. And so uh, it definitely worked out. Cause, uh, and then he wholesale the other five to get the east side on lock. Right. These damn pictures, man. All so right. that was a great play in itself. Ain't no telling what the tax he threw on that. Still yeah. made some profit off it. That's just extra money on top of your five that you about to break down in Southwest. Yeah, that's true. The lawyer is cute. She is a cutie, too. I had to give it to her. But the way they got her dressed, you know, you wouldn't think about, you know, she don't jump off the screen as as uh, as that. But you look at her and pay attention. Yeah, she is. Speaking of the lawyer, 
What's up, man? We saw Pops finally got a little act right up in him now that she got them coming up with 250000 They're going to walk away with one fifty. That dude apologized and everything, got himself together. I, I, I just want to say I'm sorry, okay? And he up here didn't started uh, allocating the money as he is talking about they don't deserve it. This, your damn son got his damn eye blew out. He ain't going to see eye to eye with nobody ever again. And you talking about he don't deserve it. The hell, your ass don't deserve it. You ain't get shot. The hell is you talking about? He was that so was goofy crazy. with that man. He got he starting a business and oh my god, this dude trying to drive some old ass cars around. <laughs> Dirty as hell, man. Hey, Meech immediately wanted to turn it to a front. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Beach boy, he all he don't care about <laughs> none of us selling dope, man. He was meant to be the uh, he was meant to be a kingpin, man. That's it, man. That's he a one track mind. And really tunnel vision, man. Tunnel way, vision. Yeah, because the way he see it, ain't nothing else y'all doing gonna make more money than what we doing here. So why bullshit? You know what I mean? Right, man. man, you you know you love making this money. You ain't gonna be making enough money riding around these old ass cars. Let's make it. And his retirement is gonna be short lived. Oh, Because, yeah. I mean, Big L, she's not going to allow him to retire. No. Ain't nobody. No. <laughs> Plus, when you in the like game the that deep, can't retire. There's no Never. getting out. Yeah. Eric, I they dep- Go ahead, man, right quick. I was man. about to say, once the plug start depending on your cash flow for his to, send, to handle her situations, you getting out is affecting her pockets. And that's, that's right. That can't happen. Yeah, because it's hard to find somebody that's moving it like you, too. So, you know. So it becomes the gift and the curse. Yeah, yeah. If you can't make that pay schedule, you die. Hey, somebody got to die. Hey, Eric Iverson coming through with the Super Chat support. I appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you said if Big L mess with Terry, then she R. Kelly might detect the power with Rock on book three because Terry's 16. I mean, I, I get what you're that saying. They this young. Yeah, they. I get what you're saying, but it's different with a man. Um, so sixteen yeah. is actually the age of consent, and with a dude, you know, yeah, that's that's totally different. Yeah, you got to get aroused to do it, and uh, hey, yeah, she may be manipulating him, this, that, and the other, but you know, he gonna have to be the one that's gonna be the plug. He gonna be doing the plugging. <laughs> so uh I, I mean, swear I keep crazy. forgetting that these are young kids. That's yeah. so outlandish to me. They doing a lot to be so young. And uh I'm almost finished. I'm about 75% finished with uh the the true story of BMF. So uh you know I've been doing a couple of little true stories I did um for uh what was his name? Alpo and then I did one Tookie. for for Tookie, Tookie Williams, and uh, now I got one for BMF. I'm almost done, and uh, their story is is pretty interesting. I don't cover it from day one, like how this show started with them as kids, but I cover it from you know a good part of where they was already you know going and and how it ended up bringing them down. So um, you know um, is 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 pretty interesting what happened and they did have like a 15 year run you know and another tidbit that the police said they brought in like 250 270 million dollars in a time period which is a that's a quarter of a billion dollars in illegal drug money that's a, a lot of money a lot of money so yeah. there's some money it's got to be money buried somewhere in detroit <laughs> yeah, I know, somebody right? don't forget about it yeah because they said also that when they seized a lot of their cars and stuff it would be hundreds of thousands of dollars in the cars and stuff yeah, there's money somewhere in the house somewhere yeah. everybody don't forget about yeah they forgot about a million dollars at one spot just a million just forgot about it yeah man. crazy yeah, imagine they- you moving your new crib you go in that boy and look in the back closet and it's in the crawl space and find a million, a ticket. Man. Oh, my God, Jay. That'd be dope. 
<laughs> that would be a heartwarming gift. Right. <laughs> Eric, you say that that's a double standard because Rock was hit with it and lied to Detective Howard. It's definitely a double standard. One it is. Accept and agree on. But it's the same as like a woman can't really rape a man because, you know, a man got to get aroused. So that's why they call it statutory rape. Now, if you did something to a man, you know, uh, on the highway. What if you, what if you put, what if you, (laughs) what if you, what if she made you eat three, uh, three blue pills? Right, right. Yeah. I mean, that's different, but then, you know, I don't know if, if everything, your plumbing going to work while you oh, yeah, know how that works. I don't man. know, man. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, just like some people were saying, Eddie Murphy got raped in uh, that coming to America. That man ain't get raped by her, man. Get the hell out of here, man. Um, I don't buy into that. So, um, you know, it, it is a a, a muddy, muddy water, muddy situation. It is some double standards, but they try to make everything into something that's too serious, man. I know, <laughs> man. I couldn't believe when I heard that. That never crossed my mind when I was yeah, watching. Yeah, I'm not thinking like that. It's a, it, come on. Right. Technically, whatever, man. Yeah, that's that was, that was crazy. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. It is a double standard, and, uh, you know, that's unfortunate. But that's life, right? Um, Things happen. But, you know, we'll see. I I think she is going to get with him, with Terry. Um, Definitely. Yeah. See that coming from a mile away. She looked like she wanted to take him in the back of the the freaking uh, (laughs) truck with the work on (laughs) <laughs> right, right. Plus, he don't have a kid's body like B. Mickey, for example. He big and tall and filled out like a man, whereas B. Mickey, you know, he looked like a kid. So I'm sure for a grown woman, you getting with him and he take his shirt off, that probably might gross you out. Like, oh, my God, I'm with a little kid. Um, man, well, most- I was laughing at B. Mickey all episode. Man, <laughs> man my son is bigger than him and he's 17 so like damn he i hope he you know start getting some steaks or something pretty soon eating good eating better or whatever because uh you know it ain't looking too good for shorty right there um what's up with pops man how you feel about pops now man now that he you know is all happy he didn't move back in the house he all happy they up here all smiles and everything with the wife and stuff um, he over here looking at how much he gonna spend that money. She had to check him, like, uh, you know, that money is is Terry's, um, and he already got ideas on how to spend it, man. What, what's your thoughts on pops now? You still, you still in his corner? You don't like him? What's up? Man, I never liked him. I just understood why he ain't want his son selling dope. I mean, I, don't, I mean, I give him that, but I think he's an idiot. Like, I would have never let my family be in a predicament to be homeless. Uh, I would have never treated my son like he treated Meech. Like, like he hates Meech. Man. I don't, the dude is so goofy. And he had the goofy smile when it happened. Like you said, he's spending money that he ain't never that he ain't had. I mean, how you going to let your family be homeless? You, you let your son pay the mortgage. You talk to him. Say, look, you don't need to do this. You made enough money. You try to reason with him. See how you can get out this game. What's your exit strategy? I mean, you try to do what you can, but you don't just kick him to the curve. Like he's a sucker, and then you you so turned up about this money. Well, if your son wasn't selling dope, he don't get shot. It's it's right. still dirty money. That's true. What do you, what do you, he's a goofball, man. That's that's a great point. You know, either way, that that money is dirty. So. He should it still came from your son. They they didn't shoot Terry because he got a good score on the science test. And you don't know why they shot him, but he's in the game. Right, right. And he over there buying Pastor groceries, and now he he over here trying to buy, taking investment advice from Pastor Pastor Blunt. He over here listening to Pastor Blunt over here and, and trying to take investment advice, buying them old ass cars. 
Shit, you could have just bought some cars and started your own business with the money. You know what I mean? You didn't need to take over. So how much they didn't even say how much dude want to take over that business. You know? Exactly. So we'll see. But he talked about he going to do the driving or whatever and this and that. Like, dude, y'all ass want to take over that company. You want to take over that money. And, you know, Terry, he, he over here talking about, you know, $600 a week. Dude, y'all make that an hour, more than that an hour right now. So they make I mean, way more than that an hour. So <laughs> that's what I'm saying. If it was all about the money, what you do, he's an idiot. What you do is you try to reason with your son, man. You say, son, look at all this damn money you got. You don't really got to do this. You putting your life at jeopardy, our life at jeopardy. Come on. You got to stop doing this. Right. Everything is paid for. Like, we're good. We, we about to move. Everything is good. You can do what you want to do with your with your life. Try to, you know, do anything else. Find a legal hustle. Hey, for real. And uh, the amount of money that they was making, they could have been investing money, that amount of money anyway. They could have been did that and started exactly. up. Exactly. They could have started up all the businesses they had and just consolidated and just went clean. For real. Legit. Yeah, man, he was tripping, man. Definitely. Instead of get out of my house, Demetrius. <laughs> yeah, man, he definitely treated Meech like you know he wasn't even his son, man. Had him like roaming the streets, <clears throat> everything, man. If we could have got ten episodes, they could have touched on that, man, because Meech ain't his son. He hate him too much. Something. Meech is pastor of uh, Snoop's son. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> You've been with Pastor Blunt. I know it. I know it. Uh, man, what's up with uh, Donnell Rollins, man? He made his appearance up in here. He over here looking at them big juicy titties on the table. Some dead titties over here fondling them, man. What the hell wrong with this dude, man? I'm glad they ain't show that. They, I guess they wanted that. <laughs> That's, that was ridiculous, man. I guess they were trying to throw some comedy in there, but that, I don't know. That was I don't know. Comedy. That was... <laughs> Some dark humor or something. Man. I didn't get that part. I'm like, this dude crazy. What yeah, man. Dude, dude was on one, man. And uh he over here, Lamar. I guess Lamar got all kind of connections because he had the damn... He did run the town. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and dude was there for him. But uh, you know, Meach and the crew, man, they found Lamar car, man. What's up? They had Lamar driving little damn uh you know what I'm saying? Hearse up in this piece, man. The yeah. Grateful Dead up in here, boy. Lamar asked People who saw like, Lamar's car, who saw the lack he was driving in, that was a little curly. <laughs> yeah, curly right, right. Always yeah. wrong. <laughs> yeah, you part of BMF. <laughs> you on yeah, the ground floor. You on hey, the ground floor. Definitely. Hey, little curly, if you out there, I'll let us. <laughs> right. Right. Well, Curly probably run an organization by now. For real. And, uh, man, he been putting in that work for him, man. They definitely need to upgrade his ass on the, on the scale. We see right <laughs> yeah. here, uh, <laughs> Unique Technique said that Terry already had a record store. <laughs> mm -hmm. Man, they, they, they just, just bought a record that. store. Yeah, but they just, what, between one episode, they got a fully stocked record store out of he Where bought it from they? somebody. He uh, bought they it from didn't show owner. it in the episode, though. No, he was just like, I just bought, you know, I remember B. Mickey was mad, like, damn, they threw it in there, like, damn, you bought a record store, you didn't even tell me. Ah, uh, okay. They I just threw it, they had to move fast, because eight episodes. Thanks, stars. Right, right. Because right. they could have put that a little, little more time on that right there. Yeah, I they mean, had we, time to, they just had it. That be Mickey said, like, man, y'all, y'all, you and Terry bought a liquor, bought a, uh, a record store, and I didn't even know. Yeah, cause I'm like, damn, they got a record store now, and so uh, yeah. I was. And they do all they little meetings and stuff there. Remember when he met right. the uh, one dude he, that was at the record store? Yeah, yeah, they did, man. That could have been a good front, but they ain't gonna never sell millions of dollars worth of records in there. They had to be the damn. Uh, musicians to to make to front as much money as they was making uh, to put it up in there, man. But uh, you know, um, they was trying to you know cut out a couple of fronts, but it just ain't make. How does fifteen, sixteen year olds or whatever making 
money to buy all these businesses still. It kind of was, you know, the eighties was loose, man. Yeah, it was. So the eighties was, was loose. loose. They needed to still have somebody as a front though, but uh, you know, yeah, it, it probably was in somebody's name. Yeah. Of course. What you think about when uh they got that settlement check and uh she said, you know, you gotta wait till you eighteen. They act like it was the end of the world right there because he had to wait only like a year or two years. That's standard, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but mine. I, I always forget how young he's supposed to be. Like it's ridiculous for us to think that Terry is sixteen years old. Right. I just yeah, go man. with it. They they man, they was actually doing major things at a young age and they they lasted all the way until like two thousand and five is when they went in jail in real life. So, you know, this is like what, nineteen eighty nine, nineteen ninety right now? Yeah. So this is the very beginning of their reign, like Fifteen years making the major moves they made is really rare. Um, think about it. If they saying if they saying two hundred seventy million, how much you really think it was? Right. They probably moved more than that. Like maybe shit, at least another hundred. Right. You probably right. Probably add another hundred on there. Yeah, because I mean they were saying uh, and the stuff I was looking up and reading and watching and stuff that Meech would spend damn near $10,000 a night just at the bar at the club. Not I counting I what he would do, making it rain and, and all other stuff. I, I, I told you my uh, BMF uh, story, and he wasn't even in the building. That's what the B team was doing. What was your story? Oh, uh, me and my home, I ain't never tell you, me and my homeboy went to a party or whatever, they bought out the bar, and we didn't know, we got let in on accident, basically. I guess we looked apart, you know, we had all our best gear on or whatever. So we go in there, no pat down or nothing, and, uh, you know, we go to try to buy drinks, and these dudes actually was pissed that we tried to buy drinks, because everything was covered. So they looking at us like, you know. They about to beat us, beat our ass for buying a drink. So Man. they made it a point to show us love, even more love and love, and sent girls to the table, drinks, bottles and bottles. This it was crazy, man. And, and these was probably the B team members. Like the big fella wow. wasn't even in the building. And this was probably around like two thousand four, around the time the Pistons won. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, Probably man, like that, old three. That was yeah, he was doing it big still. And that was before he uh, you know, went to jail and stuff. And uh, you know, yeah, man, they was they was doing yeah, he it big. Wasn't, he wasn't there like we didn't we didn't know what type we just going to the club. Right. You know what I'm saying? Got That's in right. for free, walked right in. It was it was odd because you you don't you don't just walk right in to a club, no pat down and cover charge. So we got in on the humble on the mistake and right. made the dumb mistake of thinking that we're going to pay for some drinks with the mob in the building. I was right. terrified, too. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, like, right, they're ready to beat your ass and play yeah, you over. Front, man, what drink. you doing here? Who let you in? Right. They Start probably grilling us. Disrespect them like, no, nah, I don't want nothing. Yeah, not that. even knowing. Like, brother, I'm just trying to party. Right. It was right. amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> Yeah, man, they they did it big, man. And uh, from all the accounts, man, they was on a whole nother level. Had T-shirts made. This dude had a billboard. Meech had a billboard. Uh, they said before you, once you get off the airplane at the airport, before you see the Welcome to Atlanta sign, you would see, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, Meech billboard. That said, That's all right. Yeah, like, dude. <laughs> Dude was that's like a little too far, <laughs> way that's a little too far, far, man. They had a billboard with his face and everything on it, and it was BMF, everything BMF. They go to the club passing out shirts that had BMF all over it in different colors, and everybody would wear the same stuff uh, the, in the crew, all kind of stuff, man. So yeah, they definitely was on a whole nother level. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I wasn't privy to that because you know I ain't in Atlanta. I knew they take it over, but I ain't know he had the billboards. Man, that's crazy. He had the billboards up. 
Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, man. Um, Teresa said Bobby Schmurda been selling crack since the fifth grade. <laughs> Bobby Schmurda ain't nowhere near what Meech and them did. Nowhere near. But Meech and them was like in what? Fifth grade or seventh grade when they started with uh, Pat, yeah. though. They Pat was let real... him go to the rock house. Say so you got to go to the rock house. Yeah, I they won't was real young. Definitely. When they started, they was real young, man. But, uh, you know, where they got yeah. to, that was a conglomerate because they had <clears throat> all over the country, New uh, New York, Detroit, crazy. Atlanta, Atlanta, Atlanta Louis, LA, Midwest, Texas. Midwest, East, West, yeah. everywhere. Let me ask yeah, you this, yeah. Jay. Yeah. When do you think that they're going to change or do you think they're going to change the actor from each? No, nah, I don't think so. Um, I, know I mean, you know, like to the older meets. Yeah, so they the so they kind of put it together in this episode. Um, while we've been hearing the narration, because it's yeah. a, the older meets that's talking in prison. Um, but I don't think we will see that dude until we may right. never see right. him. Or yeah, maybe we might just see him in his narration. Right, and we may never see him actually. Um, you know, in the show. Or if we do, it probably won't be until he, if they do a time jump and uh, yeah, they show, yeah, yeah. you know, like to that point. But uh, I'm, I'm in jail or something. Yeah. And uh, they also showed that uh, while he was in jail, it was a calendar on the wall that said 2005. And so uh, with it saying that 2005, that show. Cause that's when he went to jail, and like I think oh four oh five. I know he was definitely in jail in oh five. So, um, that's definitely at least fifteen years from where they are right now. And uh, you know, when they all went to jail, that was the first time Terry really w- ever went to jail. They said like Terry never had to spend a night in jail before, never went to prison. So like that was his first time ever really going to jail. Like Meech ended up going to jail because he ended up getting in the shootout when uh when Puff Daddy's bodyguard got killed, um, Wolf, and Meech got shot in the booty. <laughs> and uh Meech was in jail for a little bit for that. And uh <laughs> but they, they didn't have no way to like uh like tie it in that you know it wasn't self-defense or uh that Meech did it. And Meech said that he was running away and got shot in the butt. That's how you could prove he was running away because he got shot in the butt. Like he really got shot in the butt. And uh <laughs> it worked in his favor. Yeah, because they couldn't pin that on him. Um, but you know, that that brought more attention because they like, man, who is this dude and what's going on? And and it just brought more and more attention. It just started piling in, piling in. And, uh, you know, it just got to the point where he was just too big on the radar. But that still didn't bring him down, though. Um, But, uh, you know, I ain't going to get too much. I I got the video coming out there to break it out. But, yeah, it it is kind of messed up how it happened. Um, It's kind of hard to say whose fault it is. But, um, yeah, man, if he wouldn't have been so flamboyant, I do think he would have been a lot better off, though. Um, but you know, that was the game. He looked at it as, you know what I'm saying? I'm making all this money and I'm doing all this. I want to have that fun. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. And, uh, it backfired on his ass, literally on his ass. It backfired. <laughs> so shit, we'll see, man. Um, you know, man, what, what you think about, uh, B Mickey, man, when he was driving away, and uh, before he got arrested, man, um, he over here thinking about Cato, not a cop. You know, Coach Copper, he then pulled him over and uh, basically going to try to convince him to snitch on on uh, Meech. You think he going to snitch on Meech? <sighs> I mean, see, he, is he going to snitch on Meech? Coach got the gun. That's the same gun because he didn't throw it in the river. It had two bodies on it. He gonna like snitch. He I gonna snitch. So. That gun gonna come back to fight him. Yeah, they make you think he his choices are go to jail or snitch. Nah, he got a third choice. If 
All you got to do is tell Meech. <laughs> and then he dead. No, nah, I mean, Meech got something on the cop. Lose that gun like you said you was. Don't don't rat though. I mean, you gotta try to not to rat. <laughs> I mean, but I yeah. definitely think he's gonna rat. But I mean, if he was to tell Meech, Meech could might could work something. Who knows? If Meech if the cop want Meech bad for some reason, I don't know why anyway. He should leave it alone. Because Meech ain't bothering him. He wanna put Meech in jail talking about I want Meech. Why? Because of his partner, because they don't trust him. But why did they could tell that Kato did it now nah, and be telling the truth? That's true. Put it on Kato. She part but of the crew. Probably, Y'all bought Kato in. They, they could say Lamar it. did it. That would be a, you know. Say Lamar side, Lamar did it. And then there you go. And uh, they can have a witness or whatever say that. Um, now, you can have somebody like, testify that. I saw her do it when we ran away. Right. Shit, uh, little fella, do that shit. <laughs> do it, uh, uh, what's uh, little uh, curly, do it. He would, and that'd be perfect because he ain't on their radar like that. So, plus, he a minor. Yeah, so yeah, like I saw that. him do it. I saw him right. when he hit the officer. Yeah, hey, for real. But it's no point in you know detective headquarters over here trying to come after me so hard like that, like. Why you want to end Meech like that? I think he just. Right. But first, you that. you you told Meech the relationship was over. Let it be over. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah, he over here coming for Meech. You man. giving think- money back? We got you on film giving money back to Meech, saying the relationship but he ain't is over. A picture of it, I don't think. Talking about Lopez. Yeah. Crook Lopez. <laughs> no, man. Uh, I don't think he took a picture. He should have. Then that really would have uh, had, uh, you know, Coach Copper screwed. Um, but we don't, I don't know. They didn't show that he had pictures. But his. Uh, you think B. Mickey going to snitch? I do think he's going to start to snitch. Yeah. And I think that we're going to see Meech kill him. And it's gonna be a tough kill. Yeah, you love and, and that's gonna yeah. Am I my brother's keeper? <laughs> yes, I am. Right, is that the G Money nah. and Nino Brown scene on the roof hey, <laughs> in Detroit? Hey, New Jack yeah. City for real. Yeah, and one thing that they ain't point out in this movie that they say in real life is that Meech really looked up to. Scarface, Tony Montana, or whatever, it, it kind of uh, emulate like the world is yours. That's why he put the world is BMF or whatever and different stuff. Like he really tried to emulate himself out the Tony Montana. Remember, he killed his uh boy Manolo for messing with his sister or whatever, and he had to take yeah, out his best friend. There that was, man. What did you do, Manolo? I thought you leave her alone. But uh, I think he will take out Mickey, man. Um, because if he take him out, then he can't snitch, and then you know he's cleared. So I do think he's gonna take him out. Um, and one thing that's good for TV for the show is that it's loosely based. So we will see Meech doing this, the character I'm doing this see. stuff. Yeah, they might as well let him start catching a couple more bodies. Right, I'm dropping right. bodies, not nah, she. Right, because if it was based on realistic things, he wouldn't want nobody sh- depicting him shooting people and killing people right. while he trying to get out of jail early. You know what I mean? That ain't a good look when you try to get out. But you'd be like, man, that's a TV show, man. That ain't real. And then you know, to some people, you could be like, yeah, that's real. <laughs> so I don't know, but uh, yeah, I do think B. Mickey gonna get taken out. Um, Before we move on to Power Book 2, the end, when we saw Terry telling uh, Meech that he going to be out the game, we saw that his mama then turned his girlfriend against him. She moving. That was dirty how the mama then did that, thinking that that's going to help. And uh, now the girlfriend leaving, tried to take his baby. And then the daddy, everybody like helping her leave. Like, man, hell no, you can't take my kid to another state. 
without me uh, approving. Like, he got money to get lawyers. She ain't got all the rights. They make it seem like she got all the rights. That part made me heated. I ain't gonna lie. But anyway. Yeah, me too. I'm like, what yeah. is going on? No. no. Yeah. Of course you, you can go. Right. Put little Terry down. See For you real? later. Or you're gonna have to make some arrangements where he's gonna have to be back here half, the, can half go. the week. Or you know, you might be facing some, some problems. Um, but you can't just, just abduct my kid and go wherever you wanna go. Like the hell. We're gonna have to go to family court and make something happen, whether it's weekends or three days a week or something. Uh, but you can't just, just unilaterally decide or whatever. Um, but all of those factors made it so that he ready to, you know what I'm saying, get out yeah, the game. Get out the game. Yeah. So so what's your thoughts on that, man? You think he gonna how long how long because we know he don't get out the game permanently. So how long is he gonna stay out the game? And what is going on with this little car service? Um, what you think gonna happen with that? Two episodes. Died two episodes. Yeah. By the time they need to re up, he'll be back in the game. <laughs> I don't think he'll miss a pay schedule. Right, right. For Me one, too. Big L not gonna let him get out of the game. For two, yeah, he, he gonna see the chump change he making. He gonna get the sweating in them cars in the city. He gonna get the wearing. He, he he used to wearing lamb skin and having driving Benzes. Come on now. Now he's gonna be wearing no. uh, uh you know <laughs> rayon and riding in uh Fords. <laughs> no. Yeah, you're not about to do that for what they say six hundred dollars a week. Right. No, he talking about man, that's nice money, man. That's a hundred G's a year. Like, man, what? I don't see how that add up to that. Yeah, I'm mad. He tried to save time four cars, I guess, you know. I mean, yeah, yeah. He did that math super quick too. Right. I would have to I had I need my pen and paper that calculator. Right. If they had four cars, that might that might end up to a hundred K something. Like what, twenty four hundred a week for each for all four times four, you know, you're looking at ten thousand a month, hundred and twenty thousand. So, you know, but you got to take out taxes. You got to pay employees. You got to pay for maintenance. You got to pay insurance. You got to pay all this stuff. And you probably be lucky if you bring home 40 or 50 grand for you. You know, you know a, a car breaking down cripples their whole family. Yeah. The whole situation. Made none of that. Car. Yeah, definitely. Um, Tell Samira said you can't go from being a boss to working with his poverty minded pops. <laughs> poverty minded pops. He got a PMP. Right. And he's going to have to literally watch me stunt as hard as he can and be the king of every of Detroit. Because he, he didn't already took over the east side and southwest. So now he only got the, the west side and the north end. Right. right. And north end is basically east side. Right. So. <laughs> He basically said, got the West. Right. I don't know what you heard about me, but my pops is a PMP. <laughs> Poverty minded pops. <laughs> Dave Williams said, Brillo, anybody ever tell you you sound like Ice Cube? Yeah, yeah. All the time, man. All the time in class. <laughs> man. Hey. Man, when I was a little younger, people used to say I used to look like Ice Cube. I used to be like, man, what the hell are y'all talking about, man? I don't look nothing like no damn Ice Cube ever in my life. And different people would say that. Like, <laughs> Maybe black something black about you that, that reminded them of Cube. Maybe, they used to say my something. I'm like, man, I don't look nothing like no damn Ice Cube at all. You know, not like... Cry's looking mad at their ass like Cube be looking... <laughs> Yay, yay. Let me play a couple videos right quick, man, for uh, Eric Iverson, man, for coming through with the super <coughs> chat, man. I appreciate it. And then we're going to go ahead and talk about uh, Power Book 2. Um, I don't know what happened with my stuff. Ain't loading my BMF uh, picks. But all right. I got a little something about uh, Tariq, man. Tariq, he's been trying to step his game up and. uh 
and uh you know the power universe man i don't know if i'm buying the chat but you know um he's been trying to train and, and get smarter i mean he's been training like he was uh daniel son like mr miyagi been training for him let's take a look at Tariq and trainer <laughs> Go to Reek St. Patrick, man. Thanks for the super chat, Eric Iverson. Appreciate you, man, for, for coming on through yeah. <laughs> with the Tariq. And uh, I got another quick video, man. Let's see what this one is. Hey, guys. You ready to let the dogs out? What? Do what? <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Who, Who brought this guy? Who? Hey, Did you John, swap the face on that one? Yeah, that was that was a clip when I was the stunt double on uh <laughs> it looked like it looked so good, huh? I couldn't even tell. <laughs> that I was me and the stunt double on uh the hangover, man. <laughs> I swear I couldn't tell. Yeah, man. It go another clip when I was on Breaking Bad, y'all. Oh, yeah. Walter White, Walt Wizzy. <laughs> Man. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like, subscribe, bang that bell, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.